what's going on everybody um d23 happened this weekend and we got a few trailers dropped and one of those trailers just happens to be for the live action remake of snow white you know the movie that was uh pushed back a year mostly because of the comments from one rachel zegler for those of you don't that don't remember it was Late in 2023, when Rachel Zegler was interviewed, and she literally said this. I mean, you know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937, and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Super weird. So we didn't do that this time. <laughs> so, no, so no prince or a different kind of prince? We have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because like we cast a guy in the movie, right. Andrew Burnap, great dude. Yep. Um, it's, uh, it's one of those things that I think everyone's going to have their assumptions about what it's actually going to be, but uh, it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. Um, well, that isn't now till 2025. So yeah, that came out late 2023, actually August, 2023. And um, yeah, so Snow White, which is a love story, is no longer a love story. The prince is a stalker and he's weird, weird, weird. So fast forward now to D23 and we have the new trailer. First, this is the teaser trailer actually for Snow White. And look at the ratio on this, folks. 52,000 likes, 252,000 dislikes. Wow. So let's check it out, shall we? Okay, I'll give him credit where credit is due. That is probably one of the most iconic shots in all of animation. And, okay, I'll give him credit. They did a good job there recreating that shot. Even though it's all CGI, still. So, whistle while you work. What in the heck is that? One of all. Um, definitely not Rachel Zegler. I have got to say, Gal Gadot, <laughs> lot pretty more prettier than Rachel Zegler. Just saying. And again, the dwarfs. Okay. Really, what's up with the CGI dwarfs? But I'll get to that in a second. So there you have it, the teaser trailer for Snow White. What do you guys think of it? Comment down below. Now, here's what I'm gonna get into, folks, and this is where I agree with this article here on, in Forbes. There's one huge problem with Disney's live-action Snow White trailer. It's the dwarves, the little people. They're all CGI. Why? Not to mention the fact they just changed the title from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs to Disney's Snow White. So there's a part of the article here, um, and, and people, you can thank Peter Dinklage for the lack of dwarves in this movie. Um, this was on Mark Mar Maron's WTF podcast. Literally no offense to anything, but I was sort of taken aback. 
They were very proud to cast a Latino actress as Snow White, but you're still telling the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Take a step back and look at what you've, you're doing there. It makes no sense to me. You, you're progressive in one way, but you're still making that ass-backward story about Seven Dwarfs living in a cave together. Have I done nothing to advance the cause for my soapbox? I guess I'm not loud enough. Well, he was loud enough where Disney went, yeah, we're not going to cast seven little people to be the seven dwarfs. We're going to CGI them. So Peter Dinklage just cost seven people jobs in a movie. Not to mention the fact any other parts down the road uh, where you could have a little person act in a movie. All because Peter Dinklage wants to corner the market, in my opinion. So, there you go, folks. The teaser trailer for Disney's live-action Snow White remake due in March of 2025. What do you think of it? Comment down below. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, just before I forget, Grace Randolph loves it, so you should go see it. I mean, come on. Grace Randolph loves everything. So again, comment down below, share your thoughts, share your opinions. Tell me what you think. Uh, while you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And thank you to everyone. Whether you're new here, this is your first video or a returning viewer. I appreciate each and every one of you for, for taking the time out of your day to watch my content because ultimately that's what helps the channel. The likes, the subscribes, the the the, the views. I appreciate each and every one of you. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one.